Hey Van, I'm Armozi, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War Beta 14. So, I'm going to continue where I left off. We're at the crash site, and I got a few mutants around here still. They were running away, but they might come back. And I think I might land with Kevin. I'll need to reposition him before I enter the UFO. Well, let's reload first, because these mutants are still around here somewhere. And I'll just reload. I need a few reloads. Conrad. There are no enemies nearby, so this is the best moment to actually reload. One of these mutants should be pretty damn close, actually. On the right side. And there are two mutant elites somewhere on the left side. So I need to be careful where I move. I might get flanked by returning mutant elites from the left. That's definitely a possibility. I will definitely stay in cover. Overwatch. And there's still an ethereal summary in this mission. I have no idea where. Probably inside the UFO with the main group. Well, here comes one muton. Can I kill him? Yep, nice. And I even got a kill for my medic. That was the best case scenario. I'm definitely not nearly done with this mission yet. There has to be at least one more group other than the main group inside the UFO. But there has to be at least one more partial, maybe even two more partials. There were 22 aliens in this mission. But first, let's find these mutants. Before I trigger any more groups. So I need to go either this way or this way. Yep. Reload. Well, my assault should be in the front. And this is a good moment to reposition Kevin, probably. Okay, he needs to be closer to the UFO. I need to have a line of sight to the Ethereal, if I actually trigger the Ethereal. The Ethereal might be with one of the patrols. That's definitely possible. There's no guarantee he's actually inside the UFO. He might be outside with the patrol. I need to be prepared for that. Overwatch. Kevin will have to handle the Ethereal, basically. And Overwatch. And I still remember about the mutant elites on the left side. And is this the mutant I'm looking for? No, that's actually a new group. Okay. Mutants. Floater. What else? And here comes the mutant elite. I need to kill that guy. Yeah, that's a new group. And I got a mutant elite on the left side. This will be interesting. Let's kill that mutant elite first. That's kind of important. So, Kevin can do that. I might even use precision shot. Oh, 100% chance to crit. Let's use precision shot. Can I do enough damage? Yes, that's a kill. Awesome. Okay, perfect. And I have double tap. That was 22 damage and he had 21 hit points. 26%. Let's take that shot then. Nice! I almost killed him! <laughs> Okay, I could try to kill him with mine fray now, maybe. But first I need to reposition a bit. I can take a shot. Bit of a waste. Also, Amanda only has 14 hit points. Might be better to hunker down. I could launch a grenade and get a kill like that. That's not a terrible idea. I actually kind of like that. I still have collateral damage. So I don't necessarily need grenades to destroy cover. And this will definitely be a kill. Okay, let's just launch that grenade. I'll get that kill. There we go. And I destroyed cover for the other dude. Can I take advantage of that? No, Amanda is not close enough, unfortunately. And Conrad won't be close enough either. Annette? There is one more mutant elite on the left side, so I need to be careful about that. I'll just reposition on it completely. Like this. Let's see. Pretty bad mobility on the medic, unfortunately. She can stay here for now. Solid copy. Move towards the mutants a bit, but not too much. And Conrad. Conrad will have to use Overwatch, I think. Probably. That floater might move towards me. So Overwatch. And Overwatch. Amanda will Overwatch too. 
The mutants will probably target Tatiana. I should actually heal Tatiana a bit soon. Yeah, she's taking some major damage here. I'll need to heal her up. The floater will shoot her though. She's down to 9 hit points. I definitely need to heal her on this turn. Reaction shot. Okay, nice. 11. One more? No. Okay, he can't shoot anymore because he used the buff. Right, I need a heal. Now. Let's move back first. I can get two heals. And then still take a shot? No, I'm too far away. Okay, never mind. I'll just get two heals. Get her up a little bit. And one more. That's much better. How many medkits do I have? Three more medkits? Yep. Okay, Kevin. Can I flank any of these guys? Yes, I can. Kind of. Kevin, 86%. 56%. I could use run and gun. That might give me a kill on the squad leader, or it might not. There are more mutants in the back, and there's still the floater. And the floater is... No, he's not on Overwatch, because he tried to shoot me. So how do I want to do this then? I could use an gun. Maybe. Well, first let's move into cover. And kill this mutant. That's not actually 100%. Oh, I bet he had tactical sense. And that's a Master Sergeant promotion for Annette. Awesome. Let's use run and gun. I want to kill that squad leader. So let's do it. I think there's one more mutant in there. But maybe not. There's the floater, but I knew about that already. 100% chance to crit. This should be a kill. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this will be a kill. Yeah, that's a kill. Bye. Alright, so, floater. Kevin? Can I kill that floater? Maybe, maybe not. Can Conrad take a shot at that floater? No, he's not close enough. Okay, Kevin. And that's a kill. Nice. So that group is dead now. I still got a mutant elite somewhere on the left side. So I need to take care of that. Reload. Let's move in that general direction then. I don't want any surprises. Overwatch. Tatiana can go there though. I can get one more heal for Tatiana on the next turn. That's not a bad idea. She's not as tanky as Hulk. Or bagels. And here comes a mutant. That's a regular mutant. There's still one more mutant elite in there. Unless I'm going crazy. No, I'm pretty sure there's one more mutant elite. He moved twice. Too bad for him. What exactly is he doing anyway? 10 damage. He's getting himself killed. That's what he's doing. And he's doing a pretty good job at it. Now he's standing in the open. What was the AI thinking there? Well, that's an easy kill for me. That's easy experience for someone, possibly. Amanda could use some experience. Nice, so that's a kill. Now I need to move and reload. This area should be clear. There's still an ethereal somewhere, I did not forget about that. Reload. Well, this is a good moment to reload everything. One more kill for Tatiana. That leaves me with two more medkits. I need to save one medkit use in case someone gets critically wounded. Which is definitely a possibility when there's an ethereal. So that's actually more important than usual. To have one medkit use left. For emergency. I'm pretty sure the ethereal will be inside the UFO. Okay, Kevin needs to reload, so I might as well move first. Reload. So, one more mutant elite, and there might be one more patrol. I'm not actually counting all these aliens, but I'm pretty sure there might be one more patrol. This looked like there are two groups inside the UFO. Yeah, that, that's kind of how it looked like. Okay. 
Right, Amanda will stay outside. Might as well reload. Kevin will stay here. I will have a pretty good line of sight into the UFO. And use steady weapon. I don't want to trigger anything yet. I'm just moving around and spreading out a bit. You can go here. You people need to stay up here. That's Conrad. Okay, and Tatiana. I'm still a little bit worried about that mutant elite. Because he's out there somewhere. Okay, here comes a mutant. Come on. No. Zero damage. Come on, move a little bit more. So I can get another shot. Here comes another shot. And missed. Target still up. But at least he's moving towards me, that's good. Nope, never mind. And he's standing in the open. Well, I guess he has a death wish. Rapid fire. This will give me shredded effect if I hit. Yep. Okay, good. He has 10 hit points left. I can try to get a kill for someone who needs experience. Or maybe not. That's basically Amanda and Saida. Well, Amanda can take a shot. If I hit, that should be a kill because I have shredded effect up. Yep, that's a kill. Alright, and Overwatch again. Yep, Overwatch. I'm not in a huge rush to enter the UFO. Definitely not. I just want to move towards it a little bit. Not too much. I should reposition my scout. She can stay here. Okay, reload. And Kevin, steady weapon again. And let's wait. One or two more turns. I'm not in a huge rush. Steady weapon again and Overwatch. And I can reload. Yeah, there are more mutants inside the UFO. This mission has a lot of mutants. It's like Mutant City or something. Reload. Steady weapon on Kevin. And Overwatch on everyone else. Come on. We got a welcoming committee. Alright, let's move towards them a little bit. Not too much. Okay, here's a group. And that's actually an ethereal. Right. So, here's the most important engagement. I can't see the ethereal anymore. I need to spread out. Now. Yep. And I need to move out of the way. Yeah, let's just play it safe and move out of the way. Anchor down. Conrad could take a shot. I'll just use Overwatch probably. So I need to spread out. That's important because Rift. Amanda will stay here on Overwatch. I'll just get my scout out of here. Yep. Just move her all the way back. Move side a little bit to the right. This might be a little bit excessive, but I don't want to give that ethereal any targets for Rift. Definitely not. Steady weapon. Kevin will have to kill the ethereal, or at least do significant damage. And get Tatiana out of there. And now they should move towards me. I need them to move towards me. I need the ethereal to move towards me. Okay, Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch for everyone. I do have telekinetic field, but I'm not going to use it yet. Maybe on the next turn. There are three mutant elites in there, on top of the ethereal. Nine damage. Yeah, I did use Overwatch in partial cover. Hmm. I'll have to take care of that mutant. I'm not too excited about that. I'm definitely not going to use precision shot. Oh. Crit! And I didn't use precision shot there. Perfect. Okay. That might be a kill. And I need to heal Conrad. I can move in, heal Conrad and move out. Maybe I should hunker down. But I need to kill that mutant elite. 
And there's not a lot of good cover on here. I could just use telekinetic field now. Or I can flank that mutant elite with Tatiana. No, I can't flank him. No. I can take a shot, but I can't flank him. I'll take a shot. Oh, another mutant, and now they are shooting Tatiana. At least I can see them. I could try to use the flamethrower on my next turn. That's not a bad idea. 34%. Pretty low, but... Nice. 9 damage. What's the safest way to get a kill? The safest way to get a kill would be to take a shot with Kevin. But that means... I won't have double tap on the next turn. So that's not great. Yeah, that's not great. I might have to do it. I could use rapid fire with Conrad. No, that's a terrible idea. Annette can take a shot, but that's only 37%. Kind of low. Probably won't hit. Yeah. So what about that telekinetic field? No. One more shot. Okay, that's a kill. That was 47% now. And... Overwatch again or hunker down? Screw it, I don't want Conrad to get hit again. I'll just hunker down. Kevin won't do anything for now. I could use Disabling Shot on the Mutant Elite. But I want to have Double Tap available. So I think I'll just keep... Yeah, I'll just keep this mob. I need that Ethereal to come closer. I can't even see the Ethereal. Oh, there were four mutant elites in there, okay. Or that's one of the mutant elites from the earlier group. Yeah, I don't like these guys too much. And this one will throw a grenade at Tatiana. I'm okay with that. The problem is that I don't really have any more medkits. Yeah, but this is a pretty good target for a flamethrower. Hmm. I do have collateral damage. I could use that and destroy cover for the dude in the front. Wait, no, I can't use that because I don't have enough ammunition. Great. Well, let's move towards them then. And use the flamethrower. I still can't see the ethereal. That makes me really nervous. But I'll hit three mutant elites with the flamethrower. One of them panicked. That's helpful. And he actually moved a little bit towards me. Two of them panicked. That's better. How many hit points does Tatiana actually have? Because she can easily take 20 damage from the ethereal. She has 20 hit points exactly. Actually. Okay, that's not great. Now, I can kill this mutant elite. This one is not panicking. So if I move like this, he will be able to flank my assault. What about Annette? I'm actually considering telekinetic field now. Maybe. I'm strongly considering it. Flash might be helpful here. Flash might make it easier for me to get a kill. Or he won't move at all. Great. So Kevin again. 100%. Tempting, but again, I need precision shot for the ethereal. Still, I can take a regular shot. Okay, that's 25% chance to crit without precision shot, and that's a kill. Okay, good. Not going to use double tap. How do I kill this guy? Safely. I can get holo targeting up. Like this. And try to get a kill with Annette. I still want to maybe use telekinetic field though. Kevin could take a shot, but I will lose double tap for the next turn. Conrad could use rapid fire. Maybe. Okay, I'll let Conrad try to get a kill. That's a kill. Okay, so telekinetic field time, I think. But I obviously need to move first. I want to be close enough to Tatiana. Okay, okay, so let's move in this direction. Telekinetic field. Is Conrad in range? He is in range. Do I want to move anyone else? 
Mm, maybe? What's the range on this? I want to stay spread out because rift. But I can run over here. And now I can use the like, kinetic field. Okay, let's do that. That's plus 40 defense. My mind is stronger than your weapon. So, Ethereal. Where the heck is that guy? He might be trying to flank me. Maybe. Right, Tatiana repaired. That's 22 hit points. That's actually very important because an Ethereal can do 20 damage with silence. Okay, I saw him for a moment. This is slightly annoying, I have to say. I need that Ethereal to come to me. There's no better way to do it. There really isn't. This is really bad. What do you guys? I'll move away from the UFO. For a moment at least. Okay, Overwatch. And just use Overwatch a few times. Steady weapon for Kevin. Okay, Overwatch. Annette can hunker down. Overwatch. Conrad. Conrad should reload, actually. Yeah. Okay, reload, reload. The problem is that the Ethereal might get one attack. And one attack is definitely enough to kill someone. I still can't see him. I might have to move in. I do have a ghost grenade, so I could use that. Maybe. That's not a terrible idea. I might have to consider it. Just move as far into the UFO as possible and use the ghost grenade after that move. And then I'll have to kill the Ethereal on the next turn after that, if that makes sense. So I would use the ghost grenade to actually enter the UFO and cloak everyone. But then I would have to kill the Ethereal on the next turn after that. Or get killed myself, probably. And I would have to use the Ghost Grenade because I can't spread out enough if I enter the UFO. Which means Rift would be a possibility. And Rift would just kill everyone. Or, well, maybe not everyone, but it would kill most of my squad. Come on. Where the heck is he? Well, Overwatch. Again. I think I'll have to go with the Ghost Grenade plan. I'm really not excited about that. Overwatch for now. Right now I'm spread out enough so that he definitely won't use Rift because there's no target for that. Okay, reload then. I'll use this turn to reload, I suppose. Kevin should probably reload too. Yeah, he needs to reload. Watch the Ethereal move towards me now. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Well, he's definitely inside. I don't think he's trying to flank me. Okay, steady weapon. And Overwatch. I'll wait maybe two more turns and go with the Ghost Grenade plan. If I don't see the Ethereal. Yeah, I'll have to go with the Ghost Grenade plan. Okay, this is as far as I can move. Unless I move closer first. Okay, let's move a little bit closer. Spread out a bit more. Like this. This is probably not far enough, but I want to be a little bit closer. Just checking range on everyone. Okay, looks fine. Oh yeah, what about Amanda? She needs to move closer than this. Conrad. He's fine. Yeah, Amanda needs to move closer. Like this. Yep, looks fine. Kevin will obviously stay in the back. But I should be able to kill the Ethereal without Kevin. If I have a full squad. 
steady weapon. I got telekinetic field again, not much point using it right now. Well, there is. If the Ethereal will attack me on the next turn, then there definitely is. But I don't think he will do that. You hear that? Okay, I'm going to use the Ghost Grenade plan. Let's do it then. Which means I want to move as far into the UFO as possible. And then use a Ghost Grenade to cloak everyone. I just need to make sure that everyone will be in range. Okay. Saida is the lowest mobility soldier. So she needs to get the cloak. Let's check the radius on that. Okay, I'm just checking the radius. Move in. I still can't see the ethereal. Okay, Tatiana will be on the other side of this group, so right here. Then everyone else will, will have to be between Tatiana and Saida. I still don't know where the Ethereal is, so I really hope this won't be a huge mistake. This won't work very well if I don't find the Ethereal, I'm just saying. Yes, I'm sure. No, it's not safe, but we're doing it anyway. I won't be using Overwatch. For obvious reasons. The problem is that if the ethereal moves towards me, my assault will lose the cloak because close command specialist, but that's fairly unlikely to happen. Conrad, Amanda. I'm a little bit nervous about actually doing this, I'm just saying. Because this is not exactly safe, but it's still the safest way to handle it. And... okay, that's it. Ghost Grenade. This is my only Ghost Grenade here, so... I have to kill that Ethereal on the next turn. Cloak for everyone. I think he's in the room on the right side. Maybe he left the UFO, maybe he's trying to plunk me. No, he's here, okay. Close Command Special is great. Fantastic. Now he might actually attack my assault with silence. He won't use a rift because he can't see my other soldiers. No, he didn't have another move. Okay, this should be a kill. But reflect is a thing. And it's really annoying. So there's no guarantee that this will in fact be a kill. First, I need the shattered effect. So Conrad will take a shot first. Yep. Do I want to move him? There's no need. I guess I can move into the corner or something. Alright. Actually, I shouldn't have done that because I have lower chance to hit. There's the shattered effect. I would have to get incredibly unlucky to not kill the ethereal, but again, it's not a guarantee because reflect. It's never a guarantee with these stupid things. Okay, now I need... I'm on it, Commander. Rapid fire to the face. Okay, this should be pretty good damage. Oh, I should have used run and gun, actually. To activate killer instinct. Okay. Looking good so far. Tatiana next. Okay, good. I didn't actually see the damage, but I did hit. It's at 11 hit points. Annette can shoot twice. Okay, 8 damage. This is actually going to be fairly close if I get reflected too much. That's a kill. Are we actually done with this mission now? Or are there more groups? Oh yeah, I took damage. But whatever. No, there are more groups. Okay. I can see something. Oh, there's a mutant elite. Right. Okay, that's kind of awkward. Can I actually kill that mutant elite? 15 critical. <laughs> I think I can kill him. He's at one hit point, really? I need to move. 87, yeah, I need to move. This will trigger the reaction shot. Which is actually fairly likely to hit me. Because of the way chance to hit is calculated after lightning reflexes. But I should survive that. Yeah, I got hit for 10 damage. Yeah. That's because the modifier, the bonus aim, 
for proximity is applied after all the other modifiers, so after the lightning reflexes modifier. So he actually had a fairly high chance to hit. This is still not 100, but that's a kill. And I got a promotion. We're done. That was an interesting end of that mission. <laughs> I was actually worried for a moment that I won't kill the Ethereal, and then I was worried that I actually won't be able to kill the Mutant the Elite. <laughs> but it's a happy ending. And we got some promotions. Three promotions. Awesome. And Annette will be a Master Sergeant now. That's resilience. 106 will. That's actually insane. I never had her as Master Sergeant ever before. And she's awesome as Master Sergeant. Infantry was a really good class for her, I have to say. Right, Field Surgeon for my Medic. And Sprinter or Low Profile. I think I prefer Low Profile. Yeah, low profile. And what did we get? 23 Alerium, not bad. 21 Alloys, 6 Meld, and some damaged flight computers. Alright, so I'm going to finish this part here and continue the next one. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.